City Inspector Khen Amir, aged 42, died of wounds sustained during yesterday's terrorist shooting in Tel Aviv. Khen was shot and mortally wounded by a terrorist gunman moments after parking his motorcycle to conduct a security check on the suspect. The terrorist, identified as 22-year-old Kamel Abu Bakr from Jenin, had been hiding from security forces for the past six months. The gunman fired before Amir could respond. His partner witnessed the incident, quickly discarded his motorcycle and fired at the gunman, killing him. Abu Bakr did not hold a work permit to enter Israel and that investigation will determine whether he had collaborators. Following the shooting, Amir was taken to Tel Aviv Sarasky Medical Center in critical condition and died hours later. He survived by a wife and three small children. The High Court and the government are on a potential collision course over the recusal law passed by the governing coalition. Chief Justice Esther Hayut made clear that it may order a delay in the law's application of the law designed to prevent the potential removal of the Prime Minister from office, declaring that she views the recusal law as highly personal legislation. Justice Vogelman asserted that the court has the right to review basic laws. Netanyahu's attorney argued that the law was legitimate and not designed specifically to benefit Netanyahu, but rather to ensure that unelected officials cannot remove any elected prime minister from power. Were the court to void the law, it would mark the first time the high court has struck down an amendment to a basic law. A decade in the making, the long-delayed Tel Aviv-Yafo light rail is now set to open on August 18th. The Transportation Ministry announced that final safety permits were given, allowing the red line to start rolling through the congested Israeli economic and cultural center. A string of delays have repeatedly pushed back the opening. The line will travel 24 kilometers from Petah Tikva, northeast of Tel Aviv, to Bat Yam, south of Yafo. The red line is the first of three planned light rail lines that will largely travel above ground and is seen as a major boon for the Tel Aviv region, choked by major congestion on its roads. So, we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that ILTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.